ende bae kere kwe ni muno asi mkubwa singe ta mana na nibo na ma asi kanko ye chidi ya zelo asi ndo mili ndo azu mila taramazu angona asi na nibo ya di kere chine chada ugu wa ugu ya dure onyo bina bo nibo na ma ise 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 aya bapu ni yoso ka gosu ni ya bifa jima kia webe no uluchi no bose nke ta na eastern news 24 basta maka ya bifa na ada na poto na obodaye no ni imia and basta maka ngoro wendi bo na azo eh ni ru akuko ageti edu ni ye bua ni ru akuko eh ya bi febo basta maka ye bia from prime minister hudu ni ru akuko basta maka ya bo i dps camp na bia flaland yes ya bi fe ka cho ka ti edu ni ru akuko kunu ge ya bi fe kunu nu ye bia from government ni za ye hudu da kana nte Because we're in Russia again, I call Libya. I'm gonna come home. No, no. All right, over to you, sir. The government, whoever that is involved in pushing the so-called internally displaced people, which are terrorists, as far as we are concerned, we can never trust anything from Nigeria. So, Northern Nigeria has been overrun by terrorists sponsored by the Nigeria state for only one agenda called Islamic agenda, and today people are being moved from northern Nigeria to Biafra land that they hate with passion. And as they are moving them from the ancestral land to Biafra land, according to them, remember that strangers have already occupied their land. Ask yourself, who are those occupying the land of the people that today have found or are looking for a safe haven in Biafra land? That Biafra land, the system and is destroying. That Biafra land, they told you that Biafra army have destroyed. That Biafra land, they told you that Simon Ekpa is bringing in security. They have found safe heaven and security in that same Biafra land. What, is that? what does that tell you? It tells you that we have defeated Nigeria. It tells you that the Biafra government have succeeded in making Biafra land the only secure place in entire Nigeria area. And the only agenda... And the only motive they have is to continue to push for the destruction of Biafra land. Since they have not succeeded in using their military uniform and police to destroy our land, they now want to use the people they're called internally displaced. There are places in Yoruba land, there are enough land in Yoruba land, there are enough land in Lagos. Lagos is secured. We are calling on them. The so-called president today is from Yoruba land. So Yoruba land is secured. They must move these people to Yoruba land or to other parts of Nigeria where they believe they have control over. Because Biafra land is not safe for them. I am telling you the fact, we can never guarantee any security of anybody from Northern Nigeria in the name of coming to seek refugee. It is not yet time for you to come to Biafra land to seek refuge. We will grant you refugee we will grant you asylum according to in accordance with international law. We will give you asylum protection only and only when Biafra become an independent state. At this point, we are in the state of war with the Nigeria terrorist state. Just the reason why they have chased you out of your ancestral land is the reason men have risen up in Biafra land and they are armed. All of you from northern Nigeria that are looking for safe haven in Biafra land, I want to inform you that our men are paying the price that will make our women not to leave their ancestral land and move to ADP camp. Men are dying for it. And for that reason, it is not yet time <coughs> for us to allow anybody or any infiltrator from any part of Nigeria or from any part of the world to come to our land and live freely why people are dying and fighting the same government that has made your life miserable in your own country and your own nation and your own state. This particular emergency space today is to call the attention of whoever that is involved in this threat against Biafra people to understand that we will resist you in the morning we will resist you in the afternoon. We will resist you in the night. And that facility that they say is a place where they are going to be staying and learn, I am telling you the fact, 
it is going to raise down. We will raise it down. You will come back to Biafra land when we have become an independent state, recognized by the United Nations. We are not going to be distracted by this shambolic love that these evaders and enablers in our land are trying to show. They never love you. I want those who have actually been deceived by their propaganda that Simon Ekpa is destroying Biafra land to ask yourself question. Is it not the same Biafra land Simon Ekpa is destroying that they want to know that they have found to be the only safest place for people in the northern Nigeria, displaced people in northern Nigeria to come and live? It is not going to be possible. We are not going to say that uh, we will not accept refugees when the time comes. But I'm just telling you today that now is not the right time for any person to come to Biafra land in the name of refugee. We do not have that particular atmosphere. We do not have that particular conducive environment. We do not have that secured environment for you who have been displaced in northern Nigeria to come with your hate and your terrorism to our land at this point. It is not going to be accepted, accepted by us and we are going to resist it. So what I'm trying to say today is that those coming to Biafra land, your security of life and property will never ever be guaranteed. Not by the Nigeria state, not by the Biafra government. You're on your own. And whatever you see, you take. Do not blame anybody. This warning goes to whoever that is involved, the enablers in our land, Hopus Odima and his group, to understand that you know what we can do. And you know what we have been doing. If you think you are going to take this warning for granted, let them come. And the rest will be history. Thank you very much. I want everybody to ask very relevant questions, especially those who have been doubting our resolve in securing Biafra land today. Your eyes should be open. That among all the states in Nigeria, it is the Biafra land that they say is insecure. Some people have destroyed. It's the only place they found secure to bring northern displaced people to have a refugee and have training in Biafra land. That is completely unacceptable. We are going to accept them when they have gone through our screening, which is going to be introduced by only Biafra government. And we are going to ascertain that the people coming are not terrorists. We will give them refugee status. We will give them protection in accordance with international law. But at this point, anybody coming from northern Nigeria will be regarded as a terrorist. You never liked us. You hate us with impunity. And we will never, ever accept you. So until Biafra become an independent state, we are in the state of war. And I hope you understand what is going on. So we urge those who are being deceived to understand that if you come to Biafra land, believe me, your security will never ever be guaranteed. And because we love human life, we love, we respect life and dignity of people, and we want to put this warning ahead of time. Because we are never going to sacrifice or compromise our own security for the security of anybody. The security of Biafra women and children is the utmost priority of the Biafra government. And we're not going to compromise that in order to be called good people or in order to be to uh, people to praise us or anything. No, we don't, we don't need your praise. We don't need your acknowledgement. Our only responsibility as a government of Biafra is to make sure that our women will not be looking for a place to go and seek refuge in the southern Nigeria, in Yoruba land, or in the northern Nigeria, or in Middle Belt. We will make sure our women will be protected in our land, in Biafra land, and we are not going to leave our ancestral land for anybody. That particular, it, that particular agenda has been achieved by the Biafra government using the Biafra Liberation Army resistance fighters and all Biafra armed group that has made it possible that our land is today a secure place for people to even think of coming to build any facility for training internally displaced people in the northern Nigeria. Isn't that a um, very awkward situation?
And by what I would in any connoisseur, we get a beef out of the room near our photo bus in Katana, Eastern News 24. And I'm going to be able to be a beer from Prime Minister, you will be a beef at Doha Canante, where the Garande in the old honor, no, you can only move state and the four beer from Nande. I keep you a little bit of a beef, Nina, you know, near Bakuko, beer from Prime Minister, go drop for a feature and drink again, Eastern News 24. Can we say no moon name?